Sir Philip Rutnan, the top civil servant at the Home Office, has quit his post and launched a blistering attack on Home Secretary Preeti Patel. He said he had been the target of a vicious and orchestrated briefing campaign which he accused Ms Patel of orchestrating. In a statement released by his lawyers, Sir Philip said, The Home Secretary categorically denied any involvement in this campaign to the Cabinet Office. I regret I do not believe her. She has not made the effort I would expect to dissociate herself from the comments. Even despite this campaign I was willing to effect a reconciliation with the Home Secretary. But despite my efforts to engage with her, Preeti Patel has made no effort to engage with me to discuss this. I believe these events give me very strong grounds to claim constructive, unfair dismissal and I will be pursuing that claim in the courts. The resignation bombshell comes after simmering tensions between Ms Patel and her permanent secretary Boyle to the surface last weekend with various reports about a rift between the two. Sir Philip made light of those reports when he appeared at a police summit in London on Thursday, saying, You probably have already heard a great deal more about permanent secretaries in the last few days than you ever expected to. But he made clear his anger in his statement on Saturday, which he read to the BBC outside an address in North London. He said he took the decision to quit with great regret after a career of 33 years and said he would be issuing a claim against the Home Office for constructive dismissal. Sir Philip had a choice to resign and go quietly with financial compensation, instead he has chosen to speak out against the attacks on public servants. I know many thousands of his colleagues will recognize the courage and integrity he is showing in doing so. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot go slash tmo at or 51. Dave Penman, at Fdag and Sec, February 29, 2020. Dave Penman, General Secretary of the FDA. The Senior Public Servants Union, said Sir Philip's treatment demonstrates once again the destructive consequences of anonymous briefings against public servants who are unable to publicly defend themselves. He added, this cowardly practice is not only ruining lives and careers, but at a time when the Home Office is being tasked with delivering a demanding government agenda on immigration and preparing for a public health emergency. It has diverted energy and resource into responding to unfounded accusations from sources claiming to be allies of the Home Secretary. He said Sir Philip had a choice to resign and go quietly with financial compensation. Instead, he has chosen to speak out against the attacks on public servants. I know many thousands of his colleagues will recognize the courage and integrity he is showing in doing so and w for more on this story, visit the news article link.